Hi, my name is Derek Henry with Accelivate Consulting. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the common navigation shortcuts in Excel. The keys you'll want to know how to use for navigation are Control, Shift, Home, End, Tab, Page Up, Page Down, and the arrow keys. The Control key, when combined with the arrows, will jump to the end of the selection. If you are in a text editor, it's going to jump to the very next or previous word whenever you use it with the right and left arrow keys. If you use the control and page up and page down buttons, it's going to go to the next or the previous sheet in Excel. It works similarly in PowerPoint and Word and jumps to the previous or next slide in PowerPoint or the previous or next page in Word. With the home and the end buttons, it's going to jump to the bottom right or the top left cell in the sheet. In this case, it's going to jump to the top left cell just below freeze panes since I've got freeze panes enabled. And lastly, control and space is going to select the current column. With the shift key, it's generally going to select adjacent cells, so I'm pressing the shift and left arrow and shift and right arrow, and then up and down. When you're in a text editor, it's going to select the adjacent characters. And then if you press shift and spacebar in Excel, it's going to select the current row like this. If you have both the shift and the arrow keys, it's going to highlight everything in this selection to the end, basically combining both of them. If you do that in a text editor or up here in a formula, it's going to select the entire word one at a time. So it's a quick and easy way to select a lot of words. The tab key will move to the next cell. Notice I'm pressing that. And then it's, a, it's also a great way to jump back and forth between um, fields and forms and website pages. And then if you use this combined with the enter key, so I'll press tab a few times then press enter, it's going to go back to the first one before I press tab, which can be really helpful. Um, a tip on filling in data, if you double click the little guy here when it becomes a, a crosshair, it's going, to double, it's going to fill in your data all the way down. Or you can copy the formula at the top, press control down to get to the bottom, and then press control shift up to fill in the data. In this case, we've got a bunch of blanks, so to, to help do this without having to worry about the blanks, there's actually a couple of macros in the Accelerate add-in called select to bottom and select to right. So in this case, to select the bottom, it's going to go to the very bottom cell, and then select to right, even though I've got some gaps here, it's going to highlight everything all the way to the right. And you can combine these, so look, it highlights the entire selection even with all the blanks. Some other Accelivate macros that help with navigation are Select Picker, which has options to run other macros and some special select options. The Cell Jump Picker, which can jump to the top, right, bottom, left, or some saved custom ranges. The Block Picker, which can select a block above, right, below, or left. And then the Scroll Picker, which can scroll up, down, left, and right with a custom number of rows or columns. Lastly, there are three macros that really help with navigation. I use these almost every day. First is the table of contents. So I'm going to run that real quick here. And it's going to create a table of contents, which is basically listing out every sheet in the file. And it's got each sheet number, and it's got a hyperlink. So I can click on one of these the manual way. And then if I want to jump back to that, because it creates it as a first sheet, I've got a macro called first sheet. And I've got a keyboard shortcut set to that. So it's going to jump back to the table of contents. And lastly, there's a follow hyperlink macro, which basically just mimics clicking the hyperlink that's in the active cell. So if I run that, I can get to any sheet that I want, just navigating around like this, and I'm just using the keyboard. So that can save a whole lot of time, especially when you have workbooks that have you know, tens or hundreds of sheets in them. That's it for this video covering navigation shortcuts in Excel. You can find more videos like this one and many other resources on our website at www.excelevate.co. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.